we are here at Clearwater Academy International down here with Clemson's latest commit uh, receiver, uh, Joe Ajo. Uh, Joe, let's first off start with your name. Obviously, everybody's curious how you get the, the first and the last name there same. Uh, honestly, I, I think it's I think it's because uh, I named after my my grandpa. His name is Joe. They call me Jiru, uh, which means grandpa. That's like my nickname. My okay. mom calls me that, right? And yeah, I just. I get it from my grandpa. Okay. Yeah. Obviously, you made the transition from Canada down here to Clearwater Academy. Talk to us about the reasoning for that that transition. Honestly, like, uh, I'm like a couple years back, like grade nine, I moved to Edmonton, Alberta. I don't know if y'all know that, but like, I, I moved there to essentially make it, you know, get D1 looks. And I didn't, I wasn't getting, well, I was, but like, you know, not the looks that I wanted. And like, I just like, I was like, I gotta go do the same thing. I gotta move to make it. So that's why I'm here. All right. So you grow up up there, but you love American football. Obviously, you had lots of sports you played, other sports. What made you decide you wanted to, to come play American football? I mean, like I I really like basketball too. Like, I, but like if you're if you want to be a hooper, you know you gotta. I'm not like very tall, right? Like I'm only six four. Like. It's like if you want to make the NBA, like you got to be at least six six. This or you have to have handles like Kyrie or something like that. I ain't got that stuff, you know. So it's just like I feel like a wide receiver. There's not many people that are like that are you know at my height who can you know run and jump. So like I was just like I feel like I'll go further in football than basketball. All right, so you make the move down here. You get to start going through this crazy recruiting process. You know, you got schools like Clemson and Alabama and all these schools jumping on board recruiting you. What's that like? Uh, I don't even. I actually don't know. It was, it was crazy, bro. Like I, I literally came from nothing to just boom, and it was like, hold up, wait a minute, like what? How did it happen so fast? You know what I mean? Like, it, I, I words cannot explain. Like I just. I don't even know, man. It's it's crazy, bro. All right. Obviously, you know, we know you ended up committing to Clemson. First visit to Clemson was back in June for camp. Talk to us about that first visit. Oh man, that was crazy, crazy experience. Like, I got better at that camp for sure. Hundred percent, I got better at that camp. Like, and the thing is, like, like, like even I when I went back, like, like it was the same feeling. Like it was like, I was like, what? Like I, I just. I don't know. I actually, I don't know how they do that. All right. Obviously, you got to work with Jeff Scott, Coach Scott, a lot at the camp. He's very hands-on with the receivers. You know, you mentioned you learned a lot. What did you learn at camp? And, you know, what's your relationship like with Coach Scott? Oh, Coach Scott, bro, that's my guy. That's my – like, I actually love Coach Scott and Coach Elliott mm -hmm. and Dabo and everyone else on Clemson staff. But Coach Scott, he's, like, such a nice guy, like – I don't know, just so genuine, like, just, you can tell he's, he's, he's real, like, you can tell. All right, you went back for the all-in cookout, mm -hmm. that's where you made your decision. Did you know going into that weekend you were going to go ahead and decide for Clemson, or did something hit you over the weekend? I knew, I knew 100%, bro, come on, I knew the day I went there, bro, I was like. The day you went for camp? Oh, yeah, what, of course, bro, like, like. It felt like home to me, you know? Mm -hmm. Like, I was like, and the thing is, like, 14,000 people in Clemson. Mm -hmm. Brooks, Alberta, 14,000 people. So, like, you know, that just clicked in my mind. I was like, hold up, okay, we got that, right? The scenery is exactly the same. Like, you know, like, y'all got, like, we came in the back road. Like, the first time I came in, we came in in the back road. I just seen, like, a whole, like, country mm -hmm. farms and all that stuff. And I was like, hold up, this look like Brooks, bro. It look like Brooks. And then you go into town and everything's so spaced out, you feel me? And it's exactly like Brooks, like, small town. If it's spaced out, no distractions. You're just there for business, you know what I mean? Like, all right, talk about the first time you met Dabo and, you know, the relationship you guys have built. Oh, Dabo Dabo, that's my guy. Uh, first day, first time I met him, he's like, wait, your name's JoJo? I'm like, <laughs> yeah, JoJo. He's like... Like dabble dabble, like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Is that what you call him? Yeah, yeah, dabble dabble. That's my guy, bro. He's, he's, like, he's a he's a great guy. Dabble is, dabble's a great guy. 
All right, so you got to see that facility. You're going on all these tours and stuff, but then you see the facility at Clemson with the slide and the place to get your hair cut yeah. and the putt-putt and the basketball court. What was that like for you? I was – I mean, it's just like a, a plus, you feel me? Like, you know, you're now, now you're not going to be it's bored, you feel me? Like, it's just, like, crazy. Like, you see that on YouTube, and then, like, you don't really think – like, I, I never thought I'd be – Commit to Clemson, bro. I, I don't know. What does it say to you? Obviously, you know Clemson came on you same time. A lot of the schools were starting to give you attention, and you know Clemson's known as wide receiver. You putting all these receivers in the NFL. What was it like for you to get an offer from Clemson? Oh. <sighs> that kind of validate things. For um, you? yeah, like I like. I don't know, man. Like, like every offer I got, like, it's every like I had the same emotion. Like, it just like I couldn't believe it was happening, you know. Like, and like Clemson offering, I'm like, like <laughs> I just have to think. Like, it's taken like I ha I have I still haven't taken this in that I'm committed to Clemson. Like, it, it seems fake to me. Like, for real. Like, I I don't know. All right, you come down here. Obviously, you got the snow versus the beach. What do you like better? Oh, definitely the beach. <laughs> but like, you know, I'm not scared of no cold games though. Like I you know, I I'm pretty pretty tough, I guess. Yep. Yeah. All right. You get a chance to kind of work on your craft this year against the competition here at Clearwater Academy. How do you think that's gonna help prepare you for when you arrive at Clemson? Oh, um, like it's gonna prepare me well. Like I, I feel like because uh, we got some some nice DBs like Miles and, and JJ and all them. Shakes like they they give me they give me a run for my money sometimes and it's just competition is great I love it I love competition. All right, how the rest of the you you know you're part of a historic number right now class is ranked number one in the country for Clemson. Have you gotten to know some of the other guys? Obviously you met them at the cookout. How's how's the bond you're building with some of those guys? Oh, they, they they some cool cats. I like them. You know, like uh, EJ. He's a, he's another wide receiver. I like him. Uh, DJ texted me. That's like that makes no sense to me because like literally six months ago I was watching this dude on QB one like damn bro blah, blah, blah. and then boom we go to the same school in a year like uh, damn but oh Trey Groovy Trey Williams oh he can dance a little song. <laughs> uh, I didn't really talk to Brian and them but I they're yeah, everyone seemed pretty pretty cool though. Are you gonna have a chance to get up to any of their games this year? Uh, Clemson. Oh yeah, I'm going there uh, October 12th when they play Florida State. Okay. Yeah. All right. Last question for you. What's it gonna feel like? Obviously, been up there. You've seen the hill. You've seen that on TV. What's it gonna be like for you the first time to get on that bus and ride around the stadium and go down the hill with 80,000 plus in the stands? <laughs> oh, I don't know. Like. Bro, I actually don't know. It's gonna be crazy. I know that feeling. It's gonna be the great, one of the greatest feelings ever, for sure, most definitely. All right, we want to thank uh, Joe for taking time with us here at Clearwater Academy, and have a lot more for you on uh, Joe as he goes through his senior season and gets ready to head up to Clemson. Thanks very much. No worries. Thank you.